Hey ya Bubba, how's it going? So today I am playing Rust with another YouTuber known as a Rust solo player, and we are bringing you a trap based design. Now this is actually his original design, and he has other awesome videos showing up other designs for solo players and such, so go check him out. Now first off, we're going to show you how this trap based design works, and then we're going to show you how you can build it. The first step into making sure that this trap base will work is that you need to make sure it's only two stories tall and on the second floor you have slanted roof pieces and try to build this somewhat into a hill. So that's when a group of geared raiders are roaming around. They will see your house and body jump on top of each other in order to get onto your roof. And that's when they will find at the very top the trap that will lead them into their doom. So the raider would hopefully come in here and open this up. See a nice box, a locked box down there. Ooh. And he'll either try to pick up the hatch. Oh! And they will fall to their doom. Shit! Or they will try to hit this and break it open while the hatch is still there. Now, once the raider opens up the ladder hatch, as soon as, even if he's standing above it and not going down the ladder, as soon as it's open and you know he's there, just pick it up and then he'll fall down below. Then once he does that, just start chucking grenades. Then he's done for. One thing that you want to make sure that you have is that you have a doorway going into the main core trap room. So you can pick up all the loot that you just killed off of those guys. Now if you're worried about other people climbing on top of your roof and killing you while you are trying to loot those people, feel free to set up a ceiling right above you, upgrade it to wood, so you can collect the loot in peace. And once you're done, feel free to remove it with the demolish tool because you'll still be able to by the time you're done. So there's two different ways you can kill these raiders. Number one, which is the best way, tucking grenades out of the second floor window. Or two, there's also a window you can build down at the main entrance of your base, where you can see their feet and possibly look up and shoot them. Now one thing that you really want to make sure is that you cover up this window area with a chest and possibly a furnace in the main core trap room. So when people look down, they will see the chest so they'll climb down and possibly beat it and destroy it. And then you also want it there so it covers up the window so they have no idea that this is a trap base. If you wanted to, you can actually turn this trap base into a normal home so you can have your very own loot room and everything else. Now that we've showed off how this trap base works, I will now show you how you can build it. So this is the floor plan. Okay. Uh, for the core, I have walls that face towards, towards the inside, just so when people get down there, they can't use pickaxes and stuff to get out. Yeah, wall it off. And then up here, the only difference I put a window, I think, right here. Oh yeah, so you can chuck grenades on the second floor. Yeah, yeah. So far we got this window at the bottom. This foundation is a half block deep. We got another window up here on the second floor. Yep. We'll be able to chuck grenades down when people yeah. fall down the chute. And you could remove the ladder and stuff from right there. Yeah, exactly. After this, I put roofs. We have the chute where the radius will fall down right there. There's a window right here where we will be able to chuck grenades through and a window right there. It's almost done. I put a lantern in here. Just to kind of draw people in? Or? Yeah, just kind of as like a, a bug light. And then... Alright, so we put a half wall on the ladder hatch, so half that window is covered. They don't know. It's awesome. And what I like to do is put uh, a locked box right here. So right. it's enticing for them to sit here and beat it. You could hear that pretty easily and maybe a furnace so it looks more realistic. And so right here is a really nice place where you can easily mess with the hatch and stuff. And the nice thing is they can't see you as far as I know. The reason I have it a half story deep is so that you can't pick it up from the top of the roof. Alrighty, thank you for joining me, uh, Rust Solar Player. Thank you for showing off this base design. It's pretty damn Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, not a problem, man. All right, everybody go check him out in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Later. What? Oh, my God. This server is fucking crazy. This server is nuts. Look at all the dead. There's going to be another guy around. I got a scarf. Oh, there's a...
You know what? You know what? You know what? I made a mistake. Let's go 